Black, the prophet of rock and roll, uh, has a three meat, a five meat diet where he tries to eat five different forms of meat every day. I don't. Um, I just try and eat healthy. Because um, when you're on tour, all you get to eat is fast food. Like, you get really good with Wendy's, fucking McDonald's, fucking Taco Bell, and that stuff. So, it gets to the point where all you want ste is steamed broccoli. Try and eat healthy, drink a lot of water, don't drink alcohol. Because it feels good then, but you're going to wake up tomorrow morning, you're going to feel like shit. If it's a day off, get face fucking drunk really drunk, but I don't. I'm usually the guy on tour who is looking after everyone else when they get drunk. Nurse fucking Zoog, I'm telling you. Yeah, my biggest problem is my head. I gotta keep my head healthy and my head positive. And I do that by meeting people and hanging out with people because, you know, people are awesome. So yeah, I just keep talking to people. Um, the real trick with a tour is when you get off tour, you have to know what you're doing. So you've got to make a plan to say, when, I'm, when you're on tour, this is what you're thinking about. Like, when I get off tour, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take three days off. I'm going to do jack fucking squat. Then I'm going to jump straight into doing music or merchandising or getting ready for the next tours. Like, this stuff here. This is all the crazy massacre money that we're doing for um, the English. Uh, these are for the U.S. gigs. These ones here are for the European gigs. So planning all this stuff, always going. Just treat it like it's a really fun job where you're always active. You've always got to remember that a record label brings with it wisdom. And uh, wisdom and contacts. And obviously, like, uh, an infrastructure that has a lot of money. So you can go, okay, well, I want to do this. What do you think about that? And they'll go, well, blah, blah, blah. I tried that before, and they failed. So why did they fail? You get a lot more um, structure and support around you. Because, like, it really hurts to say this, but at the end of the day, it's a business. And it's an international business. Because you're trying to get the stuff that you're doing in your basement or your bedroom to the world. And that requires a lot of business prowess. And if you're not good at business prowess, record labels are. I'd say to everyone, yeah, I, I'm all for record labels. Because at the end of the day, they're going to be taking care of selling your stuff and pimping and all that stuff. You focus on what you do best, which is music. Wall Street Massacre! That's the theme of our new tour. A really important thing to remember about Angel Spit, and we're going out with Cyanotic and My Parasites. They're amazing. Scan this. The thing to remember about Angel Spit is that we're not saying corporations are bad, but they are. Kind of. The really important thing to remember is the reality of the situation is we live we live in a corporate environment. What are you going to do to fix that? What are you going to do that you have this shit office job in a fucking cubicle that you fucking hate? What are you going to do to keep your fucking mind going and your brain active and your heart alive and your creativity alive? That's what we're pushing through everything we do. Get a suit and destroy it. Here, this looks like money. Give it to your friends. Let's do a tour in which you don't... Uh, the theme of it is Wall Street Massacre. So we want you to get a, a business shirt and we want you to rip it up and cover it in blood and cover it in studs. And we sell uh, merch packs that are full of studs and all this crazy thing for like 10 bucks. So you can buy one if you want. If you don't want to buy one, then go onto our website and download for free all the stencils we have. Fuck your shit up and have fun with it. Um, that's the theme. That's what we're pushing. To stay active and alive in this really difficult time of apathy and exhaustion that we're going through. Wow, that didn't answer your question. But I'm good at not answering questions. <laughs> I have learnt two things. One, you can never ever work hard enough. You can never work 
hard enough. People who are gonna make it in rock and roll, I know it within three minutes of meeting them, I know it within shaking their hand, is they have an attitude which is work, 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 work. There's a guy uh, who's in a band called Blown Load, his name's Jesus. Jesus has got what it takes because Jesus is a crazy, fun, joking, drinking guy. But when it comes to work, he drops everything and he goes straight to it. Doesn't matter if he's drinking or on, uh, whatever it is he's doing, is that whatever's gotta be got done gets done right fucking now. And he does it with a smile and a skip in his step and I try to too. And that's that's the thing is that it's the work mentality. Like rock and roll, you need a work mentality that few people have. That you're doing it because you love it and you believe in it. That's the first thing you need. The second thing is you are no one. No one cares. Sorry to break it to you. You're not king shit with your fucking mohawk and your mirrored sunglasses. No one cares who you are. And that kid that you're treating like shit right now and ignoring, in two years time could be the most important DJ in that town. They could be putting on gigs in five years and you might be crawling up to them saying, look, I want to put a show on and they're going to say, I don't know, because you were a fucking jerk off when I met you. That chick who you're picking up and treating like um, a piece of fodder might be the main administrator to one of the biggest gothic industrial websites in the world. And she hates your guts now because you're a dickhead. Um, be polite to every single person because every single person has the possibility of becoming the next whoever. But more importantly, every single person is going to become to who they are. Every single person is becoming who they are and that's what's important. It doesn't matter if you're a rock star or anything else. You're trying to find your way, just like everyone else. Wow, that was really existential. So yeah, treat everyone with respect. If a kid wants to talk to you about their synth, listen because you probably will learn something. And at worst case scenario, you're going to learn something about them that you could put into your lyrics. Everybody has something to teach you. That rule, that's universal. When we started doing Nurse Grenade, the music industry was in a very different place. Piracy, etc. was a threat. Now, it's the rule. When we started, there was a music industry where labels could give bands advances and they could fund your tours. They can't do that anymore. I think what's really exciting is that the further down this path we go, the further I learn that there are no rules and you're making all the rules up as you go and that is so exciting when you think about it because hey man I'm a composer I compose music I start off with nothing but a crazy idea and I make it happen that's what I do graphic designers painters illustrators musicians artists we all share this amazing ability that hey you know I got this crazy wicked fucking idea it's a baseline that goes like this or it's a little Flemish on a piece of paper and you end up with a song or an amazing image. You've got to apply that same idea, that ability to take a little tiny crazy spark idea, a crazy fucking idea that no one else is going to understand and, and make it happen. And when you can do that, you're just tapping into what you already do and what you already do best. Um, and I think that's what we do really well. I think outside the box because there is no box. There is no fucking box. The rules that exist today, they're going to be gone by tomorrow. And the guy laying those rules down today, who gives a shit about him tomorrow? Everyone's on the same playing field now. And it's all about guerrilla media. And it's all about coming up with really good ideas. And it's all about, at the end of the day, having a really good song. That some kid in Manhattan, Kansas can go, fuck yeah. Um, I am going to pursue my crazy dreams of becoming a rock star or a tattoo artist or whatever. Because we're all in this together and that's never changed with Angel Spit. We're just a part of a really fucking big community of crazy fucking artists with crazy fucking dreams. Ain't going to change. Yo, yo, yo. Musically, uh, I want to explore something that is beautiful and terrifying. I want to push the boundaries of beauty and terror. I want to write lullabies for the Antichrist. That's what I'm pitching to the rest of the band right now. And they're going, what, what? Beautifully seductive music that is, that is terrifyingly fucked up. I want to go back to Nurse Grenade. It's funny, I just got myself an Emacs 2 sampler. When I used to write music in the 90s, that's how I did it with a fucking sampler. So I am going back and rediscovering the mindset, um, taking it out of digital audio back into MIDI, back into, we're generating this right now, um, back to the minimalism of technology. My favorite albums, Frontline Assembly, Tactical Neural Implant, was done on Atari ST1040, I believe. 
with a whole bunch of samplers and a whole bunch of analogs. I want to go back there to, um, to find my fire again. And it's funny, when I go back there, the music I write is so fucking harsh. And it's dark, and it's thumping, and it's from fucking hell. And I love it. I really love it. Sometimes I think production and technology gets in the way of a good idea. That the coolest, most amazing, undeniable idea is, fuck you. I don't know where we're going, but we're going there with a sledgehammer and a chainsaw. I fear any idea or any idea in our head that will stand in the way, because visually, sonically, we have not even fucking started yet. I am Zug Von Rock, you're watching Regen, and this is for the uh, Wall Street Massacre tour. Fucking rock.